What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the Pack Only RTG, the series where we start a poor man road to glory around packs only. That's the only criteria. It's just a new challenge. Let's see how we do. I know you see the FIFA points there. Those are FIFA points from FIFA 19, and they will be FIFA points for us going into FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Ignore the FIFA points. Let's get into another episode. Is today day seven on the RTG already? Wow, dude. Freaking time is flying, man. Hard to believe that it's day seven already. I don't know. Although, also pretty crazy to believe that only seven days in to this pack only RTG and we're doing pretty well, man. I'm actually very happy. Like the coins we're at right now is very good. I haven't touched this account. Um, one thing I promised to myself is last night, I was sitting here getting ready to like close up the office, like, you know, go upstairs, chill with Steph and the kids. I'm like, you know what? I should jump on this account for a little bit, do some bronze packs. Um, I should like go, you know, set up 81 plus packs and stuff like that for tomorrow. And you know what? I decided not to. I decided if I'm going to do anything on this account, it's just going to, we're going to do it on stream, man. I'm going to grind. And if I want to, you know, I want to, I want to ball out, let's say on this account, we'll definitely do it on stream as opposed to just getting all this stuff locked up and, and sorted out off of stream. So having said that, um, we still haven't sold this guy. Really? All right, let's do that. I don't know if the, uh, I don't know if, uh, if Sheffield has come down in price or what. Okay. These two, I'm not able to sell. Do I just keep them, man? Send tag to club. Yeah. For now, you know what? I'll just keep them. It's not like it's going to hurt that much. Um, keeping them in the club. So what we did, uh, what was it yesterday before the end of the day, we got two things completed. We finished the icon swap as we mentioned we would. So that's the all six icon swaps done. I don't have to worry about squad battles until I would assume uh, this upcoming Friday, right? This upcoming Friday, we'll probably get some sort of new objective. So I'm happy with that. Get ourselves the 300 points there too. And then the season's progress. Now, it's unfortunate. I would say this is probably the one unfortunate side of this series is that, of course, I can't use something like this that I've earned. And honestly, how much help would this guy give us on our series? And I would highly recommend anybody to go, not for Caceres, in my opinion, but for the Japanese dude. Three-star weak foot versus a five-star weak foot is massive, man. He's taller. He's got better stats overall. That agility and balance is fantastic. Um, either give him an anchor and go all out in his defensive stats, or if you want him to be a better ball-playing center back, you can give him an engine, man. Engine takes him up to 85 balance, 89 agility, 85 reactions. 88 dribbling is insane for a center back especially one that's six foot two so i'm just gonna go with him anyways um but end of the day it doesn't uh doesn't really matter so he's gonna go down into the like the the sbc fodder section and if anything actually why don't we start an sbc fodder section so that way we can kind of see where we're at plan for today is two things first of all we are going to play online gameplay so we're going to play in rivals and probably rage got to score the bundesliga and league and player in four separate wins um and then got to score at least two goals using french players in four separate matches so hopefully we can do both of these across each game i i doubt we'll be able to do this in three straight games it'll probably take us six games or eight games or something along those lines but that is going to be the goal to get player today to also put him into the um sbc fodder section and then I kind of, what, what's this over here? Um, play squad battles match on, oh, I should probably do this too. Oh, uh, okay. We'll probably play one more squad battle just to get these points. Assist the through ball in any fuck game mode. Win three matches. That's chilling. Play an online friendlies match. You frauds, EA. You plebs. See, forcing everybody into the online. Okay, so I'll go do like a max chemistry game. That way we'll get the one rare player pack and the uh, the week two silver objective done. So we're going to do all of that today. And then in terms of packs, I believe today's going to be relatively 81 plus heavy alongside this. So we're going to do the League of Nation hybrid. I don't know if we'll get it all done today. I think this one requires some heavy loyalty here, which is a bit annoying. But the packs are really good, man. Rare mega pack, mega pack. Uh, premium gold player pack and even a rare mix player pack they're all very good the completion for it unfortunately isn't another pack which would benefit us the most but another thirteen thousand coins as well is going to be decent so that's what we're going to do we're going to do league of nation and then the the 81 plus double upgrade and in fact 
I think we should have enough to do at least one of these. Boom. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure how that worked. I have no idea how that worked. So big GG's. Big GG's. All right. Well, I guess we're getting three of these silly packs, man. I can, that is the level of how bad my pack luck is this year, man. We've got maybe 15 rare players in the club. And I hit the only duplicate non-rare I or rare I have in Muni Muniain or however you say his name. That's the level of how bad my pack luck is <laughs> compared to anybody else. Anyways, number two. I think it's a board at least. It is. It's not a walkout. That's just. I mean, hey, it's something I guess. Pretty terrible though. I'm not gonna lie. Come on, be like a useful 83. Oh God, I want to cry. I want to puke and I want to cry, dude. I want to puke and I want to cry. All right, third time's the charm, boys. Come on, come on. Otherwise, we got to get into gameplay and those highlights. Another board. Wait, it's not a board. It's not even a board, even even. How do people tell me these are good? How are these good? I mean, Herrera's a semi-useful player. I can't even pretend like I, this is a good pack, man. Get out of my face. Terrible. Terrible, dude. What are we going to do, man? Got to roll against this. It's fine. It's fine. We got it. We got it. Off. Let's go. I mean, right there. That, that was, for all intents and purposes, a wasted 20 minutes. Oh, how about that, dude? Let's go. All right. Well, how much did we spend there? Not much, right? That's decent, man. Rare mix player pack. All right, come on. 81 plus packs were awful. Please. Please advance to SBCs. It's not even a board. FML, dude. FML, man. I'll take it. Yo, oh my. Okay, hold on. That's not bad. Adair Militao. Dude, what is that? Hold on. Let's just freaking pause that for a second. Adair Militao is fantastic. This is actually a good pack. This is a good pack. I can't remember if the Berlin Strikers. Oh, yes, dudes. Hell yeah. Okay, let's do that. You guys see the the um the La Liga center back there too, right? None of these guys will sell. I mean, maybe they'll sell. Yeah, because he's uh 72 rated, so he might for the nations uh SBC. That guy might end up might end up being worth a little bit more than normal. Same thing here. Might get 550 out of him. That is a ginger beard if I've ever seen one. Uh, maybe 450 out of him. Yeah, Militao is massive for the series, dudes. I, I mean, it's crazy again that in January, almost February, we're, we're going to be celebrating a Militao pack pull. But that's good, man. That's good. It actually took me probably a month to pack something like this on my uh, regular Road to Glory. So I'm happy with that. Okay, maybe we'll get like 1,100 out of him. There we go. Another one, too. Yeah, that's not a bad pack at all, man. I'll take that. Very, very good. Made good profit, and we added uh, an Adair Militao into the team. Again, not entirely sure how I'm going to fit him in. Really not entirely sure how I'm going to fit him in, but we'll see. We'll work it out. Well, it's 6 p.m. We know what football we're going to watch later today, which is going to be exciting. But did EA give us anything in terms of new content? That's the question. I wonder, do they load it? Do they change the loading screen here? The 6 p.m. content screen here or no? Leroy Sané? Wait. Leroy Sané squad builder challenge. 91 rated Leroy Sané. Oh my God, dude. I kind of respect EA doing that because Leroy Sané is obviously injured all year. The cool thing about them doing moments stuff like that is they can put someone like Leroy Sané in the game whenever they feel like it. 
decisive goal celebrating his goal versus Liverpool in the 18-19 season. That's the best part about these moments, is they can just create whatever moment they want. Um, dude. <laughs> That's, that is an insane card. I can only imagine the cost of this card is going to be nuts. German, Leroy Sané, Man City player, Premier League player, outrageous stats. Unfortunately, only a three-star weak foot, but I'm telling you, man, start of the year. You guys remember how insanely OP this regular Leroy, Leroy Sané was in the game. So, you know this card is going to be nutty. And honestly, you just give him a sniper. Just give him a damn sniper. You're talking 90 balance, 99 agility. I think 91 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, 90 composure, 99 finishing, 99 attack positioning, 95 shot power. This is actually a full meta card, man. That's a full meta card. There's no time limit? Oh, dude. You know what? On the um whatever dude account, the no time limit, guys, I'm going to start unlocking as the year progresses. Seventy-five, eighty-four rated squad. Prime Electrum. Eighty-five rated squad. Rare mix. Rare Electrum player pack. That's a very expensive player. Eighty-seven rated. Dear God, that is a very expensive player. That is a very, very expensive player, but very, very cool. There's more stuff. Where? Hold on. Is it in live? I guess it'd be in live, right? Lala, David Luiz, Headliners Challenge. 50, a 50k pack. What? 75 rated 50k pack. Oh my God. Yo, EA. Okay. Players from the same league, max two. Players from the same nation, max six. And of course I rinsed all my rare players. Of, of course. Okay. Players from the same nation, max six, from the same league, max two. So it's going to have to be, ironically, the same type of setup that we've just been rinsing through the club. Um, what type of Brazilians do we got here? Um, not many. How many rares are needed? How many rares was it? Rares six. Now, this is doable. Yo, this is actually very easily doable. Oh, one away! One away, one away, one away. Uh, right mid to right wing. Austrian league. I'm trying to see. Do I have any like strong links anywhere? Not really, right? Left back to left wing back would be the move. Or right back to right wing back. That's going to be the cheapest. It's untradeable? Yeah, I mean, who cares? It's a 50k pack, dude. For, honestly, if you do it right and use mostly just scraps from your club bro you can't be upset about that man you you know ea are going down that route the fact that they didn't make it like an 83 or 84 rated squad that was hard to put together is already impressive um in my opinion swap center racks that what you dumb to stupid oh wait a second doesn't work either. bro you know what man i'm gonna rage i'm gonna rage and there's nothing you can do about it dude there's nothing you can damn do about it dude she just went and bought the right back to right wing back and we would have been done with this insanity come on 50k pack i didn't think we'd get a 50k pack man uh from ea for the headliner promo that's kind of nuts man Good value for a 50k pack? Absolutely, man. Untradeable or not. Like, look at what we're getting rid of. Look at what random riffraff we're getting rid of. Perfect. What did we spend? Like, like 1,500 coins on this? I don't even think we did. I don't even think we spent that. Beautiful. GG, EA. This is a, a, a very rare W, in my opinion, for you guys. It is untradeable, yes. I'm not against it, though. I am not against it at all. That's actually good content. Leroy Sané is fantastic. The 50k pack is fantastic. 
That's, uh, okay, Leroy Sané's expensive, but you can craft him and grind him all year. I feel like the player moment SBCs are EA's way of saying, hey guys, sorry that we screwed you all by getting rid of icon SBCs that you could craft and build throughout the year. Now you get the player moments as the replacement to icon packs to craft. And I like that. You now have, if you're running a, a poor man road to glory or something, where you're opening a lot of untradeable packs and stuff like that, over time, you can craft a Hazard now and a Sané. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Anyways, come on. Now it's whether the pack gods give us some good luck. Start with a board, baby. It's a board. Oh, just be good. Oh, Milikovic Savage. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my pack luck is so bad. Bro, my pack luck on this account is so bad. And I guarantee you, we'll go over to the whatever dude account. Is there anything in here? Nacho semi-usable. A duplicate Alex the Ox. Pizzy. That's tough, pal. That's good. Nep's gonna get an icon from his. <laughs> EA's taking the pizzy. Yeah. They are taking the pizzy, my dude. Not even like a usable, not even like a Florenzi or something, you know, to, to toss in the team. Not even a Florenzi or anything like that. Okay, well, I will say though, the 6 p.m. content from EA is great. A little bit later, we'll jump on the, uh, the whatever dude account and we'll, 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 obviously rip packs and we've got i think already 15 or 25 81 plus packs waiting for us on the other account so we'll be chasing neymar a little bit later on that account but for now i'm excited to see what the dynamic image is going to be for sane this is a great i don't know man i'm sure i'll get a lot of hate for saying this but i think this is really cool uh where would it be in players the other two you've got him and then you've got where is he him like that's I like that, man. That's great. That's actual good content that you can grind towards as the year goes on. Right? There's a mid icon SBC? What do you mean? Mid icon SBC? The hell? Oh, dude. I would work so hard to craft one. Where? No, you pleb. This is from the icon swaps. Both left wing? Doesn't really matter. Use one on seven chem. As a right winger. It's from swaps, you pleb. This is what I'm grinding towards. 51 days left. The fact that we will potentially have to wait for 51 days. Another almost two months for this series to get a mid-icon pack to open. How absolutely absurd is that? So dumb. It's so insanely dumb. Anyways, whatever. We can only work with whatever EA uh, feed us, right? So, uh, the 50k pack was really cool. I'm planning on doing a couple more of these, I guess, or, or, or finishing this up. But the, the, the question I put out to you guys is, if I do need the loyalty, the loyalty glitch is very easy. It's 5 or 10 minutes, and you get the players on loyalty that you need. Am I allowed to do the loyalty glitch on a pack-only poor man road to glory? Obviously no FIFA points. Obviously I can't field a competitive team in rivals, in champs, and in um, friendlies that isn't pack-pulled. Why wouldn't you be able to? Well, because it would be, it would be purchased players. So, two away... From the Bundesliga, Liga objective, one away from the double French objective. And that's going to be made harder by this sweat lord setup. Dear God. What a weird team though, huh? I don't even know what's going on. Hey, man. Low driven, baby! Good goal, boys. Good goal. You guys see that guy's username as well? <clears throat> Not username.
Let's go, Loic Remy, dude. We got the league and goal, boys. We got the league and goal. Let's go. You and your stupid ass team name and your stupid ass abbreviation. Three star? Oh, four star weak foot. Okay. Okay. Well, we're good now. Now we just got to try and hold on to this, dudes. That's another double up right here, bros. Anyways, I'm shushing this dude for his team name and his abbreviation. If you get offended by that, then you're a problem. This guy needs to be put in his place. Fake shot was that good. He fooled himself. Yeah. He, fa he faked himself, man. Oh, well. It's all good. Now, let's see. I think all we have left is the goals with, like, Bundesliga and Liga. I believe that's where we stand. That guy must have been well lower rated than me, man, because I didn't get much of, uh, much of a boost for beating him in terms of rivals. There we go. 380 points from two objectives done. Back up to 44k, so that's also good. Still a big chunk of money wasted, but hey, man. How are we not going to open packs on the pack-only RTG, right? You kind of got to go that route. There we go. So one more for the hunter and one more for play us. That's been a, a day well grinded. Uh, do you still need to do this as well? So we will absolutely do that. Does that mean tomorrow we're just going to play rivals? Like for no other reason other than just playing rivals? Interesting. Probably get that done as well for the 400 extra, extra points. How far away are we from the pack? Pretty far away still. 2100 points uh, away so that'll probably the mega pack will probably be something we unlock tomorrow we did get the electrum pack still selling 53 items as well yeah we've done well we've done well the risk i personally think the risk was worth it that's unfortunate very unfortunate put him up for too much um yeah i definitely think the risk was worth it man it's always fun opening packs and we do have a lot of lot of stuff still to sell. This might not sell. I think I missed the selling window on that. Okay, let's get this Electrum pack, dudes. Yo, I'll take it. Nathan Ake is another good one, man. I'll take it. I'll take it. Look, pack only RTG, you got to be happy about that. Nathan Ake and Gomez are, are good pulls. These are untradeable anyways. Very, very good pulls. The rest doesn't really help us out anywhere, but Ake is a good one. Now we got a good center back partnership in the Premier League with Gomez and Ake. That's like a week one uh, sweat lord's dream team in, in late September, man. Yeah, Nathan Ake is a really, really good player uh, this year. Really, really good card. Hey, I got to take it when I get it, man. Ake and Gomez are my starter CBs this year. I honestly think they're everybody's starter CBs. I'm tempted to maybe go instead of Nkulu, but... For the time being, I'll stick with this. We are getting wins with this team. Oh! Canadian sniper, dude! Mega pack time, boys! All right. Cool. Well, that was like, what, 6K spent on a 35K mega pack? That's more worth it. I don't know if I want to spend my money on 25K packs in the store when you can go and spend like... It doesn't matter. It's not like it's going to be anything good. But um, 25K on a 25K pack. It just seems silly. It seems like such a massive waste. Wilson and Correa can be semi-usable. Wendell might have a price. Nah. He doesn't, unfortunately. Um, no price. No price. Darun has a bit of a price, though, which is hilarious. I had no idea he'd be worth something, so that's good. No price there. Benedetto. You know what, man? For the league and goal? 
I think Benedetto would be the good one to use for this final game instead of um, Loic Remy. Wilson again. I don't know if he's the... Ooh, definitely taking those coins. Definitely taking the 2,000 coins out of that. Correa, another good... Yeah, for 700 coins. Four star, four star. That is absolutely someone we'll keep. I think Matia is needed for another SBC. Is he needed for that mega pack? The rare mega? I'm going to hold on to him for now. And Jean Mario is not really worth anything. This can go. All of this can go. All of this can go. This will all sell if I'm patient. I'm going to try to be. Right wing to right mid won't sell. It's the right mid to right wings that are up in price right now. Benedetto got a five-star weak foot. D did he? Oh, wait. Have they upgraded him to a five-star weak foot or has he always had one? Damn, that's actually a really usable card. I didn't, I honestly, I didn't notice that. That's cool, man. Oh, he's always had it. All right, my bad. Damn, so his inform might have been might have been a semi-useful card to have. Benedetto got an inform already this year, right? Blech. Sorry, sorry. I apologize. Gag reflexes, inevitable. Oh, the Leipzig kit. I like that kit. That's a nice looking kit, man. All right. Well, we've got one more game. Uh, or one more challenge. And then we're going to try and figure this one out with or without loyalty. So far, we haven't had to do it with loyalty. Unfortunately, I think this will be the one that we'll need to do with loyalty, man. I'm, I mean, I'm not fielding a team. Technically, it's it's completely good to go. Because the, the, the rule of the series is, the only rule of the series is a pack-only road to glory where I field pack-pulled players in champs, rivals, and squad battles. That is the only rule. There's no rule about me playing the the inform squad, loading into the game, and then doing the loyalty glitch, right? Without playing the game. So I genuinely think, nah, it's all good. Um, you make the rules not that serious. Well, yeah, exactly. And as I just explained it, it really doesn't break the rules. So I might just do it, man. Honestly, I might just do it. It doesn't break the rules in any way, shape, or form. It's the same as the squad battle glitch. Well, no, it's not, but as long as we're not going into squad battles and playing out a full game with like a purchase team to get a, uh, to get a pack or we're not, you know, playing in champs or we're playing in division rivals with like purchase players, that's what the pack only poor man road to glory is all about. No FIFA points using pack pulled players uh, for those three areas, squad battles, rivals, and champs. So we're good. I think I'm going to do it. I only opened 400 coin bronze packs, man. Oh, how's that not a f pen, dude? Get f What a goal. Doesn't even matter, though. It's not a league uh, or a f um, uh, Bundesliga player. Dude, it, like, f man. Please put it in the net! Oh, God, Remy! Jesus Christ! Holy sh**, dude. Made a meal of that. Fun gaming we're having right now. What's this guy's squad look like, chat? Again, I kind of forgot. It's Bundesliga, right? Lewandowski, Perisic, Komen, Havertz, Tolisso, Delaney, Hernandez, Boateng, Kimmich, Neuer... Noir's made a couple good saves already. Proud of our team's performance, man. What a what an awful squad we have overall. And yet we're we're getting these achievements done. Wait, did I disconnect?
Please tell me. Yes! Let's go, boys! Oh my god, I actually thought we disconnected there. Oh. Against that squad, man, the, the sweaty style that this guy was playing. Once we went 3 nothing up, of course we're going to go to our uh, hold on for dear life setup. Let's go, dudes. Is that done? Oh, no, I forgot the replay. Oh, dude. Oh, just as I clicked X, I saw everybody saying, dude, don't forget the replay. Oh, wow. That guy must have been a lot higher ranked than me. If I got 35 skill points for beating him. GG. Damn, we're actually kind of close to rank one now. I was thinking we were going to go on to the, um, on to the, uh, uh, on to the main account to have some fun to try and get this Nene, but I might have to play a couple more games now with a full starting 11 of what I want to use just to get, what do you guys think? Spend another half hour. It won't be for the episode. You guys won't see this tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow. Oh no, wait, don't we have tomorrow as well to get rank one? Yo, I get to play with our main squad tomorrow all day. It's Wednesday tomorrow. It's Wednesday, my dude. Very nice. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to play anymore. To end off the epi though today, we have completed Mr. Playa. So yet someone else for uh, SBC fodder. Another 86 rated for the SBC fodder. Not that amazing. Uh, obviously, we can't use them, but still semi-decent. So we'll take that. Throw them in the club. Also, I think we got ourselves... Uh, where is it here? Another... Ooh, a Lille player. Very nice. Okay, Loic Remy being useful. And we've got a bunch of crafted packs. Wait, another one? Wait, 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 wait. What did I just see there? What else did we get? What else did we just get? Oh, nice. Napoli. Napoli? Who? Oh, of course. Callahan. Callahan balling out for us too. Very nice. So we got a bunch of packs, 21 packs to open to end off the episode. And in fact, we actually have one more. So we've grinded a little bit, got ourselves done the league and nation hybrid as well. Got this one all finished up. There we go. 85 squad cam, rare mega pack, and we get another 12,000 coins or whatever the hell that is to get back into the club. So we're almost back to where we were before I opened that idiotic 25k pack. I think I'm going to use this too. Why not? That's a, that's a kind of nice, pretty cute kit. Tomorrow, it's going to be, as far as I know, it's going to be 81 plus packs and uh, rivals gameplay. So we can try and get rank one for, um, for rewards on Thursday. I think, right? Like, what else can we do? That'll get us a little bit closer to weekend league qualification. Well, my God, it's going to take so long, dude. I, I, I don't foresee us getting weekend league qualification probably until mid-February. Anyways, it is what it is. We're just having a bit of fun. It's not that serious. So rank two is two 25k packs, two prime mixed player packs. What is rank one? Four jumbos and two jump. Ah, uh, no, we got to go for this. We got to go for this, right? Four jumbos and four jumbo premium gold player packs. It's not the 100k packs, but it's still good packs. It's a lot of players that we should be able to get into the club. Either to help us with other SBCs or, or whatever it is. So I think we are going to chase rank one tomorrow. Nice. So we got a good plan for tomorrow. And then obviously for today, let's get into the packs. We went through the club, rinsed all of the, um, all of the bronze players. So we'll open up the two player packs realistically just stuff that we can use for spcs down the road so something from the mls stuff from the csl would be ideal because those are really the only two league spcs that we're going to be grinding here um all the other ones like again psv this is good i mean that's a semi-usable player actually you know air division and whatnot we might do over time once i notice i've got like six or seven or eight players untradeable from a squad in the air division we'll go do that squad the only two teams though uh, sorry, the only two squads that we're going to be chasing, this Arsenal-Chelsea game is crazy. The only two SBCs, uh, league SBCs that we're chasing are the MLS and the CSL and then the main leagues, right? As you guys know, we will be working on consistently rinsing the Prem, the Bundesliga, the Serie A, and La Liga. As of right now, I have been selling off the expensive players from these teams that I just, from those leagues that I mentioned, but... 
that's gonna be uh that's gonna be the plan going forward so i guess we can kind of skip these right i don't like there's gonna be too too much going on here let me do that i'm gonna turn off my ac unit there you go davies that's rooney's team right yeah this is all leno the fact that it's still 1-1 and that martinelli goal though what a player man all confidence doesn't get scared and play the ball across to uh to who is that lacazette that ran with him for a tap in now if he missed that would have been terrible obviously everybody would have been slating him for being selfish and not sweating it across to uh for a tap in for lacazette Remember Lucas Piazon a year or two ago was actually a usable silver? Still owned by Chelsea, that guy? Or nah? Has he been moved on? Chelsea just owns everybody. Okay, nothing there. Arsenal have a great prospect in Martinelli. My God, do they ever, man. Hudson Adoy as well on the other side for Chelsea. Like, what a player. They still own him. So, has he even played for Chelsea? They've owned him since they've owned him since 2012. He's been on he's been on loan for eight years. That's incredible. I mean, that's a very expensive player. Oh, never mind. I mean, well, 3K is still expensive. I thought he was 8K. I was thinking, I guess, of uh, Paderborn. 3K is still a lot. He's been everywhere in the championship as well. Look at all these League SBC players. I don't know, man. Maybe for this series, we start grinding the League SBCs. I guess for the pack only road to glory, the League SBC grind will still be useful. I just want to make sure that we can have fun with 81 plus packs and, and all of that goodness. Imagine if Ketchik comes on and gets the winner. I respect uh, Arsenal for keeping in Ketchik and not sending him back out on loan, man. The kid's awesome. Why did Leeds not use Nketiah? They did. They did use him. Um, unfortunately, with the system we have and the way Bielsa runs the team, he wasn't going to get much more time than he got, but Leeds fulfilled everything they promised Arsenal with Nketiah and promised Nketiah. Um, as far as I know, Bielsa was pretty upset that they called him back because at the tail end of this upcoming season, the tail end of the season is when they even said to Arsenal, like, this is when we're going to be using him the most. Tail end of the season, he's going to really, really come into it and Arsenal are just like, no, 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 we want him back. We want him back. So, same thing with Jack Clark. I, I know they were pretty upset about Spurs recalling Jack Clark, too. Um, and same thing. Bielsa's like, look, we threw all the presentations and everything to get these players back on loan. We told you that this is a long championship season. Like, these players will be used. We will use them. We will need them. And Ketia especially, we will need. But Spurs and Arsenal weren't having it. I guess Arteta wanted him back. Again, and that I don't blame. I'm, I'm glad that if they did recall Nketiah like that, that it was for that, to keep him in the team and hopefully he does start um, um, getting chances. Here's hoping he does, man. I like Nketiah a lot. I really, really do. All right, well, there we are. There's the end of those. The silver player packs are kind of dead, obviously, right? It's not like we're going to get anything too nuts in them. Um, it's all about the process, right? With silver player packs, it gets you a bunch of players that you can use for random SBCs, a bunch of players you can use for um, league SBCs, for other upgrade packs. They're part of the system and part of the grind. This guy actually looks semi-decent, too. I would have put him in instead of Remy, but... We got it all done and figured out.
Four star, four star too. Wow, not a bad player at all. Okay. And finally, well, second to finally. Can't imagine you're gonna get. I, I'm sure someone's probably hit like a headliner Teles from one of these types of packs, and that is crazy. Considering how many player, how few rare players I have, getting that guy's a duplicate is nuts. All right, final pack of the day. This wraps up day seven. Only seven days so far spent on the pack only road to glory. And before we get into this pack, genuinely, I think we've done well. We've got this team, we've got those coins. We're poised to do five or 10 or 15, 81 plus packs tomorrow. We've gotten all of the unlockable players possible so far. We've got all of the icon swaps done so far. We're working our way towards that mid icon pack. I would say, I know our pack luck's been relatively horrible. What are you gonna do? As you do, at least with Nick 2018's pack luck for FIFA 20, it's gonna be horrible no matter what. But all things considered, this poor man Road to Glory um, pack only series, I would say is well on its way and very, very successful as of right now. We're in division seven. So here's hoping we can end day seven. Leno with another wonder save, day seven. I'm, I, I don't even know if I'm asking for a walkout, just something, please let it be a board. That's not even a board, is it? That's not even a board? So hard, dude. So hard to play this game with terrible pack luck. And I guarantee you, we go on the fun account. We'll go onto the fun account right now and we'll start hitting crazy pack pulls. The account that means nothing is always the account that has the craziest luck. I can't do anything with any of this. I'll sell this stuff on my own time want to see if there's like a duplicate in there that's even worth anything i mean there's a couple thousand coins out of that that's 5k that's a thousand no one cares yeah it's pretty dead man all right i guess we'll catch you guys for day eight on the pack only rtg